topic about the sex for great hashtag sex for, for great. great and having this discussion today with us mm -hmm. uh, we have Ndidi Obiwane, uh, she is the Lagos State Coordinator for an NGO, Sofa Don't Do. Mm -hmm. Sofa Don't Do, of course, is a registered organization, you know, committed to uh, being the voice of the voiceless and, you know, standing against all forms of sexual harassment. Right. They have branches all over Nigeria. You're welcome, Ms. Yes. Um, Obiwane, Ndidi. And also we have Suleiman Latifa, she's a volunteer member at Sofa Don't mm -hmm. Do. You're welcome, yes. Latifa. Thanks for the opportunity. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah glad. Thank you. <laughs> so now let's delve right into it. You saw the clip, didn't mm. you? <clears throat> yes. And now we know that before now, there, there have been cases of um, sexual harassment in, uh, on our campuses all over Nigeria. Why have people not been speaking to us? Do you, can you, you know, say something regarding that? Oh, it's, I think it's the same um, issue that we have in Nigeria. We don't have mm. real conversations. Okay. We don't have conversations about anything that is of importance to us. Mm -hmm. The ones that affect us is the one we're not talking about. Okay, can, can, can you speak up, please? Oh, okay. Um, so I think it's about um, uh, the fact that we have a lot of stigma okay. Okay, in society. Um, we have a lot of fear. Mm. We're not used to speaking up about the controversial issues. Okay. okay. You understand? So people would um, rather just keep quiet than to come out and say, oh, this lecturer said I should come and do this for my grades. Mm. Who are you going to tell? Who's going to believe you? Believe and where do you start from? Are mm. you going to tell your students so that they laugh at you? Mm. Um, what happens after I report? Am I still going to pass that course because mm. I'm going to go back and meet that lecturer? So a lot of things are stacked up against people who face issues like this. And so we, we tend to not speak up. You speak up. Mm. Yeah. But, okay. I, but I think that's part of what, um, you know, our organization is about. We okay. want people to come forward. Mm. We want them to talk about these issues because if you don't talk about them and face them, then we won't solve them and we'll keep repeating the same cycle. Our, country, um, our country's educational sector will keep suffering and won't be able to provide, uh, should I say, scalable workforce or okay. employable youth for tomorrow because a lot of people will just jump the queue. They, they didn't sit in class, mm -hmm. you know. That's for people who, you know, go to lecture and lecture, say, yeah. um, you know, have sex with me mm -hmm. for, grades. for grades. And if it's a lecturer who is oppressing a student, that student will have that trauma for the rest of her life. Oh, okay. Okay, so before I go to the next question, do you have anything to say as regards this? Yes. Okay, also, so far don't do is uh, a platform for the, um, we are the voice for the voiceless. Okay. We try to make people talk, make, make people outcry what they are feeling, make Going people through, mm. be fearless. That's mm. just okay. it. Okay. okay. So yeah. now, uh, because we are about the way forward, now it has happened, we know it, it, is, it is happening and the conversations have already started. Mm. So when uh, students go through things like this, who should they report to? And it's a two-part question. <laughs> who should they report to? And when okay. they do report, mm -hmm. is their security guaranteed? Mm. Hmm. Okay, so again, uh, just like I said before, mm. we have this, we have a society that uh, keeps keeping us down. Let, yeah. let it not be heard. Don't mm -hmm. say it. Shh, don't, don't say it. I mean, it's even important. in rape cases, even parents will tell you, don't, don't say it out loud. I'm just so that, you know, you don't walk yeah. exactly. So saw the family name and all of these. But um, we think that once, now that we have started the conversation, yeah. we think mm -hmm. that we can move forward if we can partner with people who are ready to prosecute, uh -huh. who are ready to help the victims, who are ready to even, you know, start, uh, should I say, an overhaul of the entire educational system. Okay. Okay. For us at Sofa Don't Do, we're not just creating the awareness. Mm. We actually have partnerships with ICPC. We okay. have lawyers in okay. our organization. Okay. And we want students who have been victims to come forward. Okay. We will investigate mm. and we will validate and mm. then we'll prosecute. Okay. Because it's not enough to just get people to talk about talk, it. Yes. Mm. You want the next person not to suffer that mm. same issue. Okay. You want the system to be cleansed. So mm. it's not one person. It's going to keep you know, happening Reporting. multiple times. So you, you mm. need to deal with one case and deal with it appropriately. Okay. Address it. And then we can start to move on. So at Sofa Don't Do, we really encourage people to come to us. Go to our social okay. media, you know, call us up, and we will help you fight this fight. Don't be scared, because, I mean, a lot of people would say, um, I'm still going to go back to that school, though. I'm still going to go yes. back for, you know, his lectures and stuff. But um, if you keep on sitting in fear, then you don't achieve anything. All right. And you'll never know if you're going to be successful if you don't take that step. So okay. we encourage you to come forward. 
and at least at least give us a chance and, and see that you know we're able to help you. Apart from stuff I don't do, I think that we should um, other ways we can help to curb mm -hmm. this menace going forward is we should start having the conversations. Okay. Parents should um, be more attentive to what's mm -hmm. going on in schools. Mm -hmm. Students should be more expressive. Okay. You know, so you come to school, you want to make something out of your life. Don't let somebody come and oppress mm -hmm. you and tell right. you what you can't or you, you can't do. do. You All understand? Right. Okay. So I think we should start having that conversation. Mm -hmm. Even uh, from home, because uh, sometimes uh, so somebody, we were having this conversation a few um, weeks back and someone said, what about the parents that, you know, come to school, to school mm -hmm. and actually say, um, my daughter is supposed to be in this course or in that course. And then they bring out money mm -hmm. and they bribe mm -hmm. lecturers. Oh, yes. So you yeah. see that, you know, the... the foundation has been laid at, laid. at home. Mm. So the students will come to school and believe that, you know, I, I don't have to really work or mm -hmm. do anything. I can just I come can have and it easy. have it easy. Exactly. Yeah, all, all right. Now, so since you started Sofa Don't Do, how many, um, how many people have um, come forward to, you know, report cases to you? How many victims have come to you? Or is um, there a rate? Are they much? Are they few? Or are they... Well, Sofa Don't Do is uh, just a little over a year old now. Okay. Yeah, we started just a little over a year now. And what we've seen is the fear to come okay. forward is yeah. just overwhelming. So the cases we currently are handling, and we have quite a few. Um, I won't give a specific number, but I'll say more than five. Okay. And this is not just in Lagos. This is across board. So we have, uh, you know, some cases in Calabar, some cases in Abuja, Bayelsa. Okay. okay. It's across board. We found that the cases are brought to us by third parties. Okay, first, let's, let's just hold on on that. We have a call. Oh, okay. Hello? Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, morning. Tosi from Lagos. Yes, good morning. Uh, I just want to add to what um, the guest said. Yes, I do feel parents have a, a lot to play in okay. this because they need to take time. Most, of, most, most times, they tell their parents, these students tell their parents that this is what is happening in school. Mm -hmm. But the parents see it as uh, an excuse for probably their failure or mm. something. Okay. So I feel like parents need to take time to listen to the complaints mm. okay. of their mm. children and take the right decision. You know that was the, uh, on the on the matter being brought to them. Mm. So at least it will start from there. It starts from there. They, they shouldn't be too strict on them in the fact thing. They shouldn't be too strict on them. Okay. In as well that those children they will start feeling on say to mm. talk to their parents about things about like things this. They won't mm. feel the need to. They will feel like, even if I tell my parents this is what's happening, they will not believe me. So, okay. there is, you know, they, I think, you know, parents have, they have a, a whole lot of roles to play in this, in this aspect of sexual harassment. All right. Thank you, Tosin. Right. Thank you, Tosin. <clears throat> yeah. So, you were saying something? Yeah. So we, we found that a, a lot of the cases that we're currently dealing with are from third parties, oh, okay. not the victims okay. themselves, okay. because the victims are too scared to come out. Too scared to mm. come out. But there's only so much you can do if the victim doesn't come forward come to forward. tell you, yeah, give you details, dates, mm -hmm. names, mm -hmm. how, why, the things I did, because we also want to investigate. Mm. Because a lot of people, you know, since the video came out, a lot of people have been saying, what about the students that go to lecturers and they say, um, mm -hmm. I don't want to read anything, I don't want to do anything, just, you know, sleep with me and give me the grades. Mm -hmm. We understand that there's that part mm -hmm. as well. But we are more focused on the lecturer who is in a position of power. Mm. Yes. A lecturer can decide to refuse a student's request mm. and nothing will happen. Yeah. But if a student refuses a lecturer, of course, we know that the tide is not, it's not fair. Yes. Yes. Sure. Sure. So uh, thus far, the cases that we, we've had or we're having, we want the victims to come forward, to mm. not be mm. so scared. Mm. Even parents, some, some parents, family members have, you know, come and reported to us, but... We can't get the victim to own up, and so there's so little, so much we can do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what is the process like? Like when you the person comes forward, how? Because I, I was asking you if it's pro bono, or you said of course it's pro bono. It is pro bono, yeah. yes. Because um, I mean, a student who's gone through a traumatic experience like that, mm. who knows how much more they've had to pass with, and not just their bodies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes students are asked to not just for sex, but for money. We know about um, guys who are oppressed by lecturers and, you know, mm. who, who, who are told to bring 50K or 100K or, mm. you know. And this is from a guy's uh, perspective. That's when a guy is dealing with a male lecturer. 
We've also heard of guys who deal with female lecturers mm -hmm. and who are also asked to come in for, you know, sex in exchange mm -hmm. for, for masks. So, yes, the, the process is pro bono. Mm -hmm. They will take up all the, the costs. costs. Okay. Um, we are an NGO, after all. And so what we do is we solicit for volunteers like Latifa yeah. Yeah. and the numerous, you know, members that we have across Nigeria to okay. come in and put, you know, their stance, put their effort, put their money as mm -hmm. well and yeah. their time behind mm -hmm. this. So mm -hmm. the process is you reach out to us, mm -hmm. you can DM us, you can call us, mm -hmm. and we will take very discreet steps into mm -hmm. investigating. Investigating yeah. first. Yes, mm -hmm. we have investigators, we have people that are uh, legal practitioners mm -hmm. who are actually legal practitioners. I don't mean, you know, just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, <laughs> Oh, okay, they just talk legal, but they yeah. actually... I think, mean, is this person a lawyer? What <laughs> chamber do they practice with? What's this? True. No, we actually have legally... Um, uh, you legal know, practitioners. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. legal practitioners who will come in and do the needful. Okay. We have partnered with ICPC as well. Mm. We have different structures. And we're not afraid. Oh, so right. we actually do, yes, yeah, so we'll go to the school mm. and we'll ask the, the so, dean, yeah. For example, we went to Unilag and uh, the dean of, um, dean of students affairs was not, it wasn't very given to our... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, okay. He was like this, I have more important issues than this. And I was like, oh, okay, really? fine. However, mm. this is a major problem. It is, yes. You know, yes. Unilag is one of the one of the most mm. prestigious schools and biggest schools in, in, in Nigeria. Mm. It has yeah. seen um, professors, mm -hmm. you know, heads of states, mm. ministers, a lot of people come out from the four yeah. walls yeah. of that campus. Mm. So we, mm. we, yeah, we I'll really take that think... as some sort of advert for yeah. Unilag. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we do have a, a structured process and, and mm. um, it's pro bono. Okay, all right. Um, this, question's, um, this question goes to Latifa. Latifa. Okay. Uh, now, what um, is your experience like working for Sofa Don't Do? Why did you join Sofa Don't Do and then what has been your experience? Okay, so, so before, before, before you, you know, before you go, we have Jade online who is going to share a story oh, wow. with us. Okay. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello, Jade. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Jade. How are you morning, today? Jade. I'm fine. Okay, so we'd like to listen to you. Please share your experience with us. Can I do one? Please share your experience with us. We'd like to listen to you. All right. Oh, okay. Um, Dr. Benny Fritz, the legal was mine. Can you hear me? Yes, yes of we course. can. Okay, he was my supervisor when I was in my master's in the last year, the Russian language. Okay. I was in 2017. Um, he started when he was, um, he was taking us in the class. Okay. You understand? So, I didn't even know he was like that. I didn't know because I, I wasn't close to him then. Okay. But, he made, he made practice and all that, and then I asked, no, no, that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. So, when they were sharing, for, when they were sharing to advice, so I was assigned to him, and I didn't him. Okay. And, that was how, how the thing started. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what I mean. It's like they said they like yellow people. Yeah, I'm very fair. And um, I didn't know until I left him, he was as, as the first as my supervisor. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know what I mean. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know what I mean. 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 So until he became my supervisor, then he told me something. He was like, I only think that I was, my husband is right in Nigeria because I was about to get married. Wow, you're married. And then, okay. um, he was like, every time I'm making the excuses with my husband, blah, blah, blah. Wow. So like that. There's something that I'm about to get married. So he should just provide me and my supervisor. So he was making it difficult for me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He was really making it because anything I bring to his table, he was like, I'm writing what he has to do, blah, blah, blah. blah. So I said, it's like, but you're my supervisor, I don't want to like, um, put me through of what to, um, what to write. You know, by telling me, I'm writing what he has I didn't know his game. Until mm. one day, he not told me, I should come to his office. I came to his office. So I went to his office. Like, it was, that time it was a tough day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Before he said all no, expired, then he, he went back to his office as a normal lecturer. All right. So I went to his office, and that was how he started. The first time he did 
he was like he came close to me and was like I, I should rob him. Huh. He brought okay. out his manhood and I should rob him. I was like, fuck, I should I rob you or something like that. He he oh. did have got me. Oh. You understand? So that that day they were doing an inauguration le- um uh, lecture. I think I was graduated um something like that. I think many the white people came to the lab. That was like yeah, I can't remember. So after everything, then I thought should be a good girl and um, I think I'm a good there that my project is going to be easy, will make it easy for me. And I won't even bother to write, to do everything for me. I was like, sir, but this is a research. I need to, I choose this topic because I want to really write about the topic. Oh. That's Thank you. Thank you. That was, blah, blah, blah. That Thank was, you, that Jade. Was, yeah. that I was so afraid. Because I was going mm-hmm. to the class, I would just talk to my classmates. I was like, people know me, they just say, you know, you know so a lot of people, like a lot of people know him in school, yeah? A lot of people know him. He has a reputation for... Yeah. Do, a lot of people know him. He has a reputation for doing things like that in school. Yeah, they know that he does those, those kind of things. People, mm-hmm. people that school because I didn't do my, my first degree in Gino Lab. All I was right. just doing my second degree. So people that knew him... That's true in Gino Lab, know that he's like that. So don't think that they don't have evidence. All right, Jade. All right. As much as we love, as much as we love to continue this conversation, uh, we are way out of time. We are way behind schedule, so we continue this conversation tomorrow, hopefully. Hello there. Did you just enjoy that beautiful video? Don't worry. We have more for you. All you have to do is click on the subscribe button and ring that little bell for more notifications. Tea or coffee will be served for you. We are more focused on the lecturer who is in the position of power. Yes. A lecturer can decide to refuse a student's request. Mm. And nothing will happen. But if a student refuses a lecturer, of course we know that the tide is not not fair. Yes. Yes.